As far as theme songs go, this one's always been a banger. When a colleague played me the Tweed version recently, it hit me right in the solar plexus with a jolt of nostalgia. And if you were born in Australia before the year 2000, there's a high chance it's baked into your televisual memories too. This week, after a hiatus of nearly two decades, the old theme that played at the start of the 7pm news between 1986 and 2005 will once again herald the ABC TV bulletins, but it will have a fresh lick of paint. When a sound designer, David McDonald, was asked to remix it, he says he felt a weird combination of elation and trepidation straight away. There's, there's often a big push against going back to things that have been done in the past, he says. But this particular piece of music is a good reason to make an exception to normal rules. The people responsible for it, Peter Wall and the late Tony Anzel, wrote it in 1986 while on a weekend away with their families in the Hunter Valley. Wall and Ansel's long creative partnership saw them crank about 300 TV theme songs together. But this was probably the best one, Wall now 76 says. I think it happens to be the strongest piece of music we ever wrote. The key to it, he says, is the piccolo trumpet that kicks it all off. The high-pitched call to attention that, if you're like me, you sing along to. Those particular high notes on the trumpet are a special thing. The what we call the look at me moment, Wall says. And from the very beginning, he knew exactly who should play it. That piccolo trumpet part I wanted played by a specific guy, Dick Motz, who trained and played in all the pit orchestras in Las Vegas, and had the best chops in Australia, he says. He really knew how to make a little piccolo trumpet sing, which is the trick to that piece of music. And it's true that as soon as you hear it, you know the news is starting. That was no accident. As a musician who studied news things closely, McDonald says there are a few tropes that they follow the world over. They all tend to sound a bit like heraldry, like a medieval sort of trumpeting that would happen before a war. He says, they tend to have a really solid beat called the four on the floor beat. They all have these sort of signaling noises, almost like Morse code or radar beeps. They're all completely obsolete technology, these sounds, but they're in virtually all of them. For the updated version, McDonald translated ABC into audible Morse code and set it in the right key and timing. So they're now the first beats you can hear at the start. A news theme also has to sit comfortably under the anchor who's talking. It has to arrive and demonstrate that the news is coming on and sort of get out of the way quickly. Be polite and sit in the ground, McDonald says. The cool thing about the Answell Ansel Wall theme is that it ticks all these boxes, but it's also an exciting, cool piece of music. But the real secret to teleporting the old ABC TV news theme into the present lies in the base. And that was provided by a kid's drum kit McDonald bought for 20 bucks on Gumtree. If you played the old one on television right now, you notice that it's missing some thump and strength, he says. Gone are the old TV sets with a tiny speaker under the volume knob. These days, soundbars and subwoofers punch a lot more bass than the original theme song was ever capable of carrying. So we added that in, McDonald says. He had been searching in vain for a very particular sound and beat for some time when his gaze fell into the instrument originally bought for his four-year-old daughter. It just happened to be there, he says. So he demoed it, added it into the mix, and was amazed to find it delivered the perfect solution. McDonald played and recorded the kid's drum kit about 30 times over, then laid it into the mix to produce a more modern drum corp sound, not unlike a marching band. He says the drums in the song now are like what you'd hear in hip-hop or dance music. They're just bassy and powerful and thumpy and fill that lower end of the frequency spectrum that was kind of empty, he says. It took some creative thinking and a fair chunk of luck to convert the news theme from its analog roots into the digital present. Back in 1986, it had been performed by a full orchestra in a studio, and the only remaining recording was on an old format, magnetic, multi-track tape that Peter Wall had to dig out of his home collection. He then searched the country file and wide for a tape machine that could actually play it, so that the individual tracks featuring each instrument could be digitalized for remixing. 
It was a precarious process. You only get one run across the heads of a replay machine to record it digitally, Moore says. The oxide comes off the tape because it's so old. So the team had to prep the ancient tape recording by baking it in a low oven for four hours. It worked. We got Dick Mons' trumpet, a clearly chuffled Moore says. If you listen to those trumpet notes, they're played with absolute conviction. This isn't the first time the Wall Ansel theme has been revived. The tune became iconic after being made into a dance track by WA band Pendulum in 2010 and coming in at number 11 on that year's Triple J Hottest 100. While the band is now based in the UK, their Australian crowds go absolutely bananas when they play it live here. Wall was bemused by the whole idea and went into a pendulum gig at Sydney's Horton Pavilion a few years back with his adult son to see what all the fuss was about. I stood in front of a loudspeaker and couldn't hear it for a week, he says. All of a sudden, my kids thought I was Jesus Christ on roller skates again, you know? Because this group had made a dance track out of dance music. He loves that the news team has been resurrected for today's news audience. It's been modernized and I think it will work really well, he says. McDonald is holding his breath. He, like many of us, grew up with the original. Nostalgia is a double-edged sword, he says. I'm probably more worried about it than anything else I've ever done. I'm literally touching wood. But I've tried to pay attention to it and give it the respect that it deserves. And I've also been really glad to have been lucky enough to be the person who gets to do that. The new theme will make its on air debut at 9am AST on Monday on the ABC News Channel, and it will be heard on every state and territory 7pm bulletin from Monday night.